hey guys how are you doing welcome back to another video i am so excited guys to share this recipe with you so today we are making tripe or matumbo as we know here in kenya so i start with creating a, a small piece of ginger i was taught that when you add ginger to like your meat or tripe it is softens faster so that is one tip that I got and it has worked. I have proven it times and times again and it works. So guys, I go ahead and add oil on my pot. And one thing I haven't told you guys, I washed this matumbo, like I soaked it in salt for 10 minutes. You know, tripe, some, sometimes it has warmth. So I would really recommend you like soak it with salt so that the salt kills the worms or the worms comes out so you need to like simmer it with oil or like just fry it with oil i know you guys are going to come at me for like frying matumbo without like boiling but i'm gonna show you the boiling part okay so i'm gonna go ahead as you can see put the tripe in oil hot oil i added the ginger and uh, salt to taste and then I'm going to let it like fry on its own. Matumbo has, it's just like meat. When you put it in hot oil, it has this water that comes out. I'm going to let it cook with its own water. You guys, as you can see, the water has started coming out. As you can see, just stir it little by little. Let it fry on its own water, you guys. And then after that, you can see all the i haven't added any water in it all that water is coming from down there from sorry guys <laughs> it is coming from the tribe so you guys i soaked the matumbo for 10 minutes with salt and then i washed it with lemon when you wash your tripe with lemon the lemon helps uh, get rid of the smell you know the smell of I don't want to say it, but you know how stripe smells like. And then I go ahead and start preparing, you know, the onions. The only, the only, sorry, the only ingredients, guys, we are going to use is onions and dania and the ginger that I added and also some salt to taste. Also, as I was cooking, I was enjoying some cold beer, Smanoff pineapple. So I find it very refreshing so yeah guys you need something to drink when you're cooking don't make cooking boring cooking is very interesting okay okay you guys and that is me guys and please don't come at me for touching my hair while cooking please forget i did that please <laughs> so guys it's been a while and uh the water that the tribe had uh, produced as you can see it's drying up let it dry under medium heat let it dry under medium heat do not put like all like a lot of heat okay because you don't want them to like you know burn so as you can see the water is gone and the only thing remaining is the oil now you need to like keep stirring as the tripe turns golden brown it needs to turn golden brown you guys see how good it looks and also i forgot to told you i'm using goat tripe goat matumbo but you can do this with the cow one or whatever matumbo you are using <laughs> just not human <laughs> okay guys after it turns golden brown i add some water as you can see and this now is the boiling part you let it boil and because guys i fried fast with ginger this matumbo softens faster that's what I wanted to tell you. When you fry your matumbo fast with ginger and it, then it uh, till it turns golden brown, it softens faster. Mm? So you see guys, you only need to like boil it just a little and it is ready. So as you can see, it has boiled. It has even turned the color because it is ready. The matumbo is ready and as i told you earlier guys we are not we are just using the natural ingredients just simple things simple you cannot say where do i get this from so i go ahead and add the onions with the dania stock do not put the dania leaves at this point 
just use the denier stock as you can see i'm doing and continue stirring just to stir and stir what i mean is mix 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 and let it like cook let the onion and uh, the dania stock you know those rich flavors get in the tribe get in the matumbo so that when you eat it you can feel all those flavors from the onion and the dania just keep stirring at um you know medium heat because you don't want to like burn them you know okay continue like you know mixing and mixing you can cover them for like a minute i hope you didn't see me tasting one because you know you have to taste what you're serving your husband okay we are cooking for husbands you have to taste before you take it to him <laughs> so guys i covered it for like a minute to let the onions and the dania stock to you know to let the flavors get inside as you can see and the onions have started turning brownish okay guys i love these pots ever since i bought these pots my cooking has upgraded now see our matumbo is ready you see and you don't need to like put a lot of oil as you can see mine is it's not oily it's very good and this matumbo was very yummy okay guys it was very yummy look at that you just let the matumbo to brown you want it to brown and then you add the dania leaves add the dania leaves you guys and let me tell you when you serve your husband this he's not going to look elsewhere he is not going to look elsewhere you guys <laughs> you just need to feed him this and then feed him the other one <laughs> okay <laughs> I hope guys this is how we make you make wet wet fry matumbo i served mine with ugali and some greens and we really enjoyed eating this we really really enjoyed this meal this was one of my best meals so guys that is it for today's video thank you so much guys for watching let me know what you think about the recipe did you love it are you going to try it let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate the support you guys give me and uh, thank you so much to all of you who always share my video to other people thank you so much make sure you give this video a thumbs up anything you want to know please Write it in the comment section because I always reply to comments. I always do. And guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. I have written the, my Instagram handle up here. I don't know whether it's this corner or the other one, but I'm going to write it here on the screen. So make sure you go over there and follow me. And I will see you guys on my next one. I love you guys.